Everyone roll your eyes because we have yet another celebrity who does not live in reality who is having a total meltdown over Hollywood not being woke enough. And we are continuing to see especially some of these radical ro wokesters who are stepping forward to continue to try to push Hollywood to become even more woke than it ever has before. And that is something that we are seeing with Jessica Alba today as someone who is wanting Marvel to to become even more woke than ever before. Fantastic Four star Jessica Alba criticizes Marvel films as still quite Caucasian, says the system just has to be more diverse. Now, if you looked at that, now can you just imagine, and once again, this is something that we always have to point out, right? The double standard here. Can you imagine if there was a celebrity from Hollywood who said something about, um, I don't know, some film out there being, uh, you know, still quite black? Can you imagine the reaction that they would receive? And of course, they would justifiably probably be uh, scorned for that. But it's totally okay to say that things coming from Hollywood are still quite Caucasian. Apparently, that is okay. But you can't do the reverse. That is a form of racism, no matter how you spin it. And of course, Marvel continues to try to bend over backwards to appease people like this. To appease the woke mob. And it is never enough because it is never enough they always want more they always want more power they always want to destroy more that is what their entire objective is so the system just has to be more diverse which is just a ridiculous thing to say because marvel literally has put out some films like black panther which has pretty much a you know like a 95 percent black cast and that isn't a bad thing that works for that movie obviously because that is a movie that takes place in africa who would have thought and of course you know but, you know, reality doesn't matter to these people. It doesn't matter what the facts are. It doesn't matter what demographics mean in reality or or geographical locations or anything like that. None of that means anything to these people. The only thing that matters is the agenda and the opinion of Fantastic Four star Jessica Alba, despite the steps Hollywood has taken to add more diversity to their films, Marvel Cinematic Endeavors are unfortunately still quite Caucasian. And apparently that is just a very, very bad thing. Racism, once again. Alba, who portrayed the Invisible Woman. Okay, so she weighed in on the topic of diversity in Hollywood. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's hear what she has to say here. Uh, asked by Glamour's entertainment director, assistant editor Emily Maddock if she's noticed a change in how Hollywood has approached representation in recent years, which, you know, you just kind of have to be an idiot not to see the change in how Hollywood has approached a representation. The actress admitted that while she had, she also took issue with how it only resulted from the fact that the topic has become a business initiative for people now that they realize how much money they can make. Well, no shit, Sherlock. That's what this entire thing is, you know, about. At You know, not ultimately, but it is a huge part of it. Um, it's something they care about, which is fine. How they get there really doesn't matter. You're like, great. Now you realize it's a whole bunch of folks that you just frankly left out of the conversation because you just didn't even see them. They were there the whole time. And I guess it's the people in charge. However they get there, it really genuinely doesn't matter. I just think more of the younger people who are coming up who are going to be our future leaders. It's important for them to see the world on screen or in stories in the dreams that we create as entertainers. It reflects the world that they're in. Even though, you know, the world that they're in is a world that is still, uh, you know, still quite Caucasian, if you want to go with her, her uh, phrasing. But that doesn't matter. So they don't actually want to reflect the world that they live in. They don't, okay? They want to create the world that they want to live in. Now, I'm not saying that is a bad thing that there are less Caucasians in the future. That is not a bad thing. The only thing that I really care about are American values being upheld. Are is freedom being upheld are these these ideas of liberty being upheld or is everything continuing to be turned into a neo-marxist future where we are all completely subservient to the powers that be including powers like the government uh hollywood and everything else 
And that is a future that I don't want to live in, and I, I don't care what the skin color is beyond that. However, despite this recognition of Hollywood superficial diversification efforts, Alba would go on to criticize how even if you look at the Marvel movies, that's the biggest driver of fantasy in what's happening right now in entertainment, because it's sort of the family thing, it's still quite Caucasian. Saying, you know, saying about the studio that's made movies like Black Panther and Shang-Chi and everything else. But apparently none of that matters. You know that she, she doesn't have to continue to work in movies, right? Jessica Alba could very easily give up her roles in films to people of color. And that could be something that she could do to help change this future that she wants. But of course, that isn't what she is going to do because it's all about virtue signaling. It is all about preaching and it is all fake. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. I'd appreciate that a lot. And I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.